Iran shuts down French Institute due to Charlie Hebdo's Khamenei cartoons. Iran's government has shut down the Tehran-based French Institute of Research in Tehran, oh, I already said that, in response to cartoons from the latest edition of the French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. The cartoons are part of a contest where Charlie Hebdo asked participants to draw cartoons mocking Ayatollah Khamenei and the Islamic Republic regime of Iran. The magazine did cover the competition, uh, excuse me, the magazine did cover the competition to show their support for the ongoing anti-government uh, protests in Iran. One cartoon featured on the magazine's front page depicted a line of Iranian clerics walking inside of a naked woman's vagina with the message saying, Mullahs, go back to where you came from. <laughs> The Iranian foreign ministry issued a statement saying that the closure of this French institute was the quote unquote first step to its response against the cartoons and threatened further action if the French government fails to quote, hold to account the perpetrators and sponsors of such instances of spreading hatred. The statement also said that Iran would consider reviewing cultural ties between Iran and France and French cultural activities in the country. Hezbollah, the Lebanese, excuse me, the Lebanese Islamist militant group backed by Iran also condemned the cartoons, calling for the French government to take, quote, divisive measures to punish those behind the act for acting, for attacking dignitaries of a whole nation. Armin, what wow. was your reaction to the Khamenei Charlie Hebdo cartoons? Um, first of all, we need to do our blasphemous art version of this. So, guys, make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter if you want to see that, them get, uh, us making those, right? One. Two, um, these people have now gotten to the point where they're treating this like blasphemy, right? And Oh, you're right. That itself is a problem. We're getting shirky. Yes, because if this is, if the, if the Charlie Hebdo cartoons uh, are blasphemy, that means that Khamenei is a holy figure, which is like very a, a major claim. Like even some religious people in Iran were like, "Wait, this is blasphemy? What are you? What is that? What are you saying about yourself if this is like it's being treated like blasphemy?" Right? I mean, but this is uh, not new. Like Ruhollah Khomeini, Ruhollah means like spirit of Allah, right? Yeah, but we do have a lot of. Yeah, that is blasphemy. Yeah. That is by itself blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know, but it's, it was more common to say that about Khomeini, but not like Khomeini. Khomeini recently compared himself to Hussein also. So shut uh, the that... front door. No, yeah, he did yeah, not. Yeah. yeah, he did. Okay. What did we'll he say about that. Hussein? Wait, wait, we'll talk about that later. Okay. okay. <laughs> the Shia and me got okay. triggered. I'm wait, sorry. I'm going to forget the points. I'm going to forget the points. Okay. Wait, where was I going to say? Oh, um, Oh, another point is the fact that they're so desperate that, they, they, like, this is, how is this going to hurt France? Like, you, you're you closing things that are promoting Iran in France. Like, this is, like, this is going to hurt you. Like, how is France going to suffer from, No, no, no. Know? It was a French institute based in Tehran. Okay, no, but, oh, wait, they... No, no, no. They, they also had like closed, I think, uh, institutions in France um, sharing cultural things about Iran. No, if that's Iran the case, I, that's not what I heard. I heard them closing a French institute that's based in Tehran. According to Iran's foreign ministry, protesters gathered in front of the French embassy in Tehran. Okay, that's the French embassy. No, I heard the other way. It was the other way around. I mean, they're threatening to, you know, end their cultural ties on other things they're reviewing their cultural relationship so to speak right but, but it just I comes had... across as like very little kid like childish it comes across as very childish um it does it also shows a lack of understanding of how france laws work like the french government could not uh, ban these cartoons even if it wanted to like there's like for example like oh Macron like punishes people, even even in, in in an upside down world, okay, in an imaginary world that Macron genuinely wanted to be like yes, this is horrible. Let's shut this down. He doesn't have the power. 
like they are like how um this is not iran okay there's a freedom of speech and they are incapable there's a limitations of what the government can do right so it seems like they don't understand and, and actually that's what the french official responded they said that um this is not iran like we have something here called freedom of speech like we can't like we're not going to be able to like we're not going to be able to do anything about it even if we wanted to that's how they responded it was such a burn right but yeah, it's just no, so that's pathetic. what mariam is saying mariam is saying those fascist illiterate mullahs think other countries dictate cartoons <laughs> yeah like yeah you can't do it like i mean it's just so stupid like they don't understand it but let me see like I, the french institute uh iran announced thursday the closure of Teher oh you're right tehran based french research institute in protest against the cartoons but okay, Republic Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei published French. The ministry. Wait, I'm gonna read some comments while you're reviewing that. Mariam is also saying "Jatem Charlie," <laughs> and D, who is our lovely editor, everyone give their heartfelt thanks and appreciation to D for everything that she does for us in our community and you as a viewer. She is saying um, there are so many good cartoons that I couldn't include. I mean, Armin, did you, I'm assuming you saw the Charlie Hebdo cartoons because there's a lot that we can't really like include to show on YouTube. I don't know. I I didn't want to risk it. Did you have yeah. a favorite? Um. I can't even describe the one that was my favorite because the, even it was so explicit that I, even the description of it could like get us in trouble. But, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just go look them up. It was so good. I really liked the one where it was like um, kind of hyper realistic, but it looked like it was made with a ballpoint pen and it was Khamenei and he had like kind of... Um, a bdsm kind of face mask but instead of like a ball gag he had like a pistol coming out of his mouth i thought that was very creative or like the and the barrel of a gun like coming out of his mouth um and there was also one that was just i don't know what it said in french but it was like hominet's face but on it, on both sides it was just like pussy lips <laughs> so yeah yeah exactly mariam that's the one i was referring to that one was um the reason why that's my favorite is because that's what got got them the most buttered oh really okay yes yeah um i um okay so we need to make our version of arts like this okay so we have three arts that we that we have covered three blasphemy related news items that we have been covering in the past a uh, few weeks that we need to make sure that we make our own version of it. One was that um, Charo Khan with that lady. I don't know if you notice. Do you remember which news I'm talking about? When he's wearing green and the lady he's, he's dancing with is wearing. Oh, you color. talked about that on Secular Jihadists. You mean that yeah. um, Bollywood movie? Okay, let me write this down. Yeah. The other one was the first news that we had today. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And okay. the third one is this. So these are all, and we could all dedicate each, every single one of the arts to each one of these news items. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Okay. So Bollywood movie. I'm I'm writing these down. I'm taking notes. Demi Lovato. Mm -hmm. Except we need to do it better, because like, better, who yeah. really cares about Demi Lovato? To be honest. <laughs> I, how the hell do you spell Lovato? Oh my god. Um. And my phone corrected it to lavatory. <laughs> <laughs> um and oh of course hominay blasphemy but now my question is if we do hominay blasphemy what should we be doing because we have done a series of you know mullahs in submission gleefully enjoying their submissive submission to a dominant female right but I feel like we could take it in another direction. We also had one of Khamenei um, wearing a chador. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we kind of already have the Khamenei of blasphemy one, but what do you, with the micro penis? <laughs> so what should we do for our next Khamenei uh, blasphemy art? Hmm. I think woman, uh, Iranian woman, stepping on him. Oh, and he's loving it. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, 
being stepped on. Okay. Yeah. Juicy. Guys, if you want to know what the hell we're talking about and you want to see some of these arts that we're talking about, including Hamane and Achador, <laughs> um, that was most one of them are actually, Yeah. That most of them are actually my season. brain, by the way. Yeah. I take full credit. <laughs> yeah, you guys should see that. Chador <laughs> Hamane. And he's like flashing. It's so funny. Yeah. Next to a picture of Khomeini. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to see this, go check out our Patreon. Link in the description below. And if you sign up for our Patreon for as little as $1 a month, you get access to all of our sexy blasphemous art that we release tons of throughout the month. And also you get the special privilege of asking questions during our Q&As every week. Um, so, yeah. But I think the Chidori <laughs> alone is worth it. <laughs> I love how much you love this. That's great. It's so funny. You saw that one too, right? Yeah, yeah. The it's only one, one that made me happier ones, was so. sexy doc female doctor Zachary like as a stripper. <laughs> okay, guys, if you're wondering what Susanna is laughing about, go check it out. Sir. Uh, look at this, Mario. Oh, wow, I love this. <laughs> Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.